Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and I'm obsessed with all things beauty and skincare related. And in today's video, I have a very special guest joining me and it is my new puppy. His name is Legend. Hi. Say hi to my new baby, everybody. My floppy. If you guys are wondering what type of breed he is, he is a red bone. Say it with me. Okay, because he's not very common, but maybe he's more common where you guys live. He is a red bone coon hound. He hunts raccoon. That's the type of breed that he is. He, that's, so he's in the hound group, if you guys are thinking Westminster. And what they do is they track raccoons and then they chase them up trees and they bark up the trees until the hunter comes and gets them. And guys, if you don't know this about me, I'm a little houndsman or houndswoman. I'm just fierce, that's what I am basically. Anyway, so this is, now he's red. Now there's a couple different types of breeds of hound dogs, uh, coon hounds, but there's the red bone blue tick. Blue tick is my dog Fern. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know my other two dogs, Fern and Pixie. But I named this puppy Legend and he's gonna be with me on this video today for a little bit. I was thinking about giving him his own YouTube video, but guys, I don't know, what do you think? I'm gonna be showing him so much on my social medias that I don't even know if he's gonna need his own video. Anyway, let's talk about my favorite makeup. A lot of you have been asking me what my favorite makeup products are. I always zoom past makeup products because I'm always like, I'm not really that big into makeup, but like I think it's important that I share uh, what kind of makeup I'm into. You know what I mean? Makeup that I like to kind of have on me at all times is like important. You guys know that I like to have makeup that kind of gives back to your skin as much as possible. My favorite foundation of all time, and I truly miss it, and I don't have it, but I need to have it, is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. That foundation will always be my favorite. And I miss it, it is full coverage, it's non-transferable, I love it, I miss it, and I cannot wait to get it back into my routine one day. The next foundation that I wear a lot is the La Mer, the Soft Fluid Foundation. This is a fantastic foundation. It gives you this gorgeous natural sheen, very light on your skin. It's got the Miracle Broth in it, which I love. Always giving me that skincare benefit back. That's why I love it. The only problem with this is it's just so transferable that every time I wear it, it almost like melts off my face in the summertime. And especially when masks were a big deal where I live now, um, the masks are kind of over, thank God, but it's so transferable that it honestly is a huge drawback for me with this foundation. I do wear it, it does look beautiful. I'm never gonna deny it of that. It's just, it bothers me, like a lot at how like not like transferable this product is. Like I just don't like that. However, other than that, the product is beautiful. Do I think it's worth its price tag? Yeah, I do, other than the, you know, I do. I think it's a great product, just gets all over the place. The next makeup that I'm using a lot right now is when it comes to, I do like to bake, by the way. I like to bake because I definitely get oily in my T-zone. I don't like that look. I like to be flawless in the center of my face. So I definitely use powders. The powders that I use, I go back and forth between the powder by La Mer and the Fenty Beauty Lavender Powder, the Pro Filter Powder, I bounce back between the two. Guys, the better powder for baking, in my opinion, is the Fenty Powder. I love the way this sets on my face, it goes around my face, it sets into my face. Like, it's really, honestly, the powder's made for baking. Like, if you use this powder, you'll understand the way it goes on your skin with a sponge and it just, glides across your skin and like just over your lines and, and into your like T-zone area. It's very easy to move and it's honestly designed to give you the perfect baking powder. If you want a little bit of a more natural look and you want this gorgeous, flawless, 
filtered shimmer, then of course you go in with the powder by La Mer. This is a very nice natural looking powder. I do try to bake with this. However, I don't think it bakes as well as the Fenty Pro Filter. This is just my opinion. Plus, you don't, I personally don't like to bake in excess with this powder because it's so expensive and I don't think it's necessary. This is more, again, if you wanna go in with a more natural, gorgeous look and you just need a little bit of a touch up. Now, the next powder that is one of my favorites is the Lancome Absolute Petch Powder. Uh, it's called the Absolute Powder. This powder is stunning if you want an all over gorgeous glow, like filtered glow for days. I do not bake with this powder at all. This is literally just a finishing powder that I put all over my face if I just want to be gleaming to the gods in the most gorgeous way. I love this powder. It's a beautiful highlighter. It's a beautiful filter. It's a beautiful everything. So these are the three powders that I bounce in between and I love 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 them um, and I love all three of them for very different things my puppy is gnawing on my my extensions which is kind of iconic the next thing that I use a lot for concealer is my favorite concealer is the La Mer La Mer concealer the color that I use in the La Mer concealer is light 12. I've been using this a lot, a lot, a lot, and I still have a good considerable amount, which is nice. This has been my favorite concealer, honestly. Concealers are, are is a definitely, definitely a trickier product when it comes to like shopping for one. Uh, the way they set on your skin, I think is super important. And the way they make your wrinkles look, the way they cover up your circles for a longer period of time, I think is all very important. So finding a good concealer that doesn't make you look cakey, that doesn't make you look dry, that doesn't make your wrinkles look like crazy, I think is very important. And I definitely think when it comes to makeup, you should definitely be investing in a really good concealer. My favorite concealer that I've ever tried is the La Mer Concealer. Yes, I tried the Tarte Shape Tape. Yes, I tried the NARS the Creamy Concealer. But I do have to say, the runner up to the La Mer Concealer, and you guys are gonna be like a little shook, but I do have to say this, he's very controversial, and i it's a little weird for me to bring him up. I personally can care less what he does in his private life, but uh, Jeffree Star, he makes a good concealer. Like, he doesn't get any credit for this, but he makes a good concealer. Everyone's all about his like jawbreaker palettes and his lipsticks and his whatever. The guy makes a good concealer. We gotta give credit where credit is due. Jeffrey, you make a good, he makes a really nice concealer and no matter how much you use, it doesn't get cakey. And when I ran out of this, it's empty. I use it till empty, honestly. Great concealer, it has this great doe foot applicator. I bring it right down here and it blends like a dream and it covers like a dream. So if you don't wanna spend the money on La Mer, definitely try Jeffree's concealer. I promise you, you're gonna love it and it works very, very, very well. I love this concealer, honest to God. I was sad when I ran out of it. So I would give this one a go. So next, so we did foundation, we did concealer. Let's go in with what I'm currently using when it comes to eye palettes. This video, I kind of wanted to show you guys what I'm currently using with like eye stuff. So what I'm currently, what I've been up to, you guys never even really see my makeup because like I never come on here with makeup, but I've just been bouncing between what I got around the holidays from Too Faced. So I, my favorite palette, so remember when they came out with, I bought it um, during Vlogmas, but he came came out with these great like holiday palettes and then it came with a white one yeah so it came with like these three and I've been obsessed with the pink palette of course and it gave me these beautiful shades right here I kind of just take this one traveling with me because I love to uh, basically what I want to say is I've been bouncing off this palette a lot for eye makeup and cheek and face makeup because I use this a lot and I use this, actually this is their um, highlighter. I don't really like it as much as a highlighter 
for a highlighter because I think I get that a lot better in my Lancome powders and stuff. But I use this a lot on my eyes. This is a great, eye, like if I just wanna be like a simple makeup look, I use this a lot on my eyes. If I wanna be a little more monochromatic, I will take this to my cheek as a highlighter or I'll use December 25th as an eye. I just think it looks pretty in the summertime. It doesn't have to be such a holiday palette. You can do this all year. I also dip into Under the Tree if I wanna add a little more like of a shadow. And I love Secret Santa as a blush. You guys can see that I use Secret Santa a lot as a blush. I just love a fresh pink blush, a baby pink blush. It serves me that. Break the Ice is great for an inner corner bra or brow highlight. I love that. And I've just been kind of just throwing this around with me, taking it on vacation, using it quickly to do my errands. And it's more of like an affordable palette, so I don't mind like throwing it around. Then for bronzer, my only bronzer that I have been using is the Lancome Star Bronzer. And this is in Natural Matte. Um, it's in the shade 02 Sunkiss. I do think this is a little light for me during this time of year, but I still use it because it's so matte and it's so cool toned that it's a good contour palette. So I use this as a bronzer and a contour at the same time. And honestly, I love this. I've been using it a lot. I use actually use it all the time. I even use it sometimes for eyes. And I, as you can see, I've been dipping into it a lot. So this is what's kind of been my contour bronzer. I, I sometimes it's on my eyes. I use it all the time, kind of expensive. So I try to be super universal with my makeup. I try not to get too, too carried away. My, I hate mascara. If you don't know me, my least favorite makeup product is mascara. Why? Because it's a pain in the butt to get off your face. I don't care how expensive your makeup remover is, like mascara is a B to get off your face. I don't even care. I always have to bring Johnson's Baby Shampoo and an extra Q-tip to go in there under my eyes just to make sure this is all off my face because I hate leftover mascara from the night before. No matter what I was doing, mascara is a B to get off. Because it's around my eyes and it's so close and I take it so close to my eye, I will use the Dior Show, the Dior Show Pump and Volume. I like this mascara. Uh, I do have to say I'm a big fan of luxury mascaras because I don't think drugstore mascaras are worth it like everyone tries to go on about, like the L'Oreal Luxe Paradise whatever, black carbon black, like I've gotten into that and I've tried it and they're horrible. I'm gonna tell you why, I'm gonna just tell you my reasoning really quick. Because those mascaras run and they go down my eyes. Every time I use a drugstore mascara, I don't care if it makes my eyelashes voluminous, luxurious, uh, if it gives them this full look and my eyelashes are on fleek within an hour, they're all running down my eyes and they're getting everywhere and they just don't look good and they're giving me raccoon eyes. I personally don't like the look. I don't care if my eyelashes are voluminous and whatever. Maybe I should get falsies, maybe I shouldn't. My focus is always above all else on my skin, lips, and hair. <laughs> so I quite, just me as a makeup wearer, I like, a lot of people love mascara. They get really into it, which is great. I'm just not a mascara girl, but if I'm going to wear mascara, it's gonna be Dior mascara, and that's just how I roll. If I do get into separate shimmers or highlights, I do get into the Fenty Beauty uh, Diamond Bomb, I think this is called. Um, or how many carrots because I just that's iconic. I've been using this for a while It gives me this great wet look on my cheek this I use a lot in the winter time and around the holidays It gives me this like this like sickening wet look or if I'm going out at night Like I just think this gives you a dope look uh, This is more of like a blingy night out on the town not for me, like if I'm trying to do like a classy like event or I'm trying to like low key it or like shopping or something like that, I don't, I don't really whip this out for that. I whip this out for like a blingy high heel night out. Other than that, she kind of stays in my drawer. <laughs> so foundation brush is always the La Mer foundation brush. If you're buying the La Mer foundation, I highly, 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 highly recommend you get the brush to go with it. This brush just applies this product the best. 
I'm sure La Mer, Estee Lauder company set it up just like that, but honestly, the foundation does work the best with its brush, plus the brush is worth it. It's beautiful, it's heavy, it's luxe, its bristles are amazing. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brush, and of course it has to be worth it, I know. The next brush that I use the most is this great MAC 150S brush right here. This is my powder brush. My, it's like I use it as a powder brush, a contour brush, sometimes a blush brush, but not really, I could care less, like a bronzer brush also. What I love about it is it's fluffy, right? It's fluffy, it's big. I also could squeeze the bristles and make it smaller to make it more of like a contour brush. So I can use this for a lot of different things. This is the Morphe M501. I took the advice of Jaclyn Hill years ago, bought this as a highlighting brush and honestly it's fantastic because it does work like a highlighting brush dream i take it like up here up here i take it here i put it under my lip on my nose everything i love this and honestly if i don't have this to apply my highlighter i honestly miss it and i reach for it and i'm upset that i don't have it so this is the brush that i use definitely for an inner corner or a brow brush it's great i use this one constantly never like to leave the house without it definitely take advantage of my fenty beauty this was expensive but i take advantage of this one and i love to dip this brush i'll take one of my Too Faced palettes, I'll wet this and I'll dip into a shimmer and then that's how I apply it right above my eye. And then of course I'll go in with this and, and I'll be able to smooth over what I want. I definitely use a beauty blender, love them, love them. A lot of the times I'm makeup free. Good hair, good lips, good skin, I think I'm good to go. And honestly, that's just how I roll with makeup at the current time. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you so much, thank you for watching. Mwah, mwah, mwah. If you haven't done so, subscribe below. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna link all the makeup I talked about below so you can shop them if you're interested. And until the next video, I love you. Stay flawless, stay gorgeous, stay healthy, and stay safe. Bye.